guys welcome to my channel my name is Anesu and today I literally was packing up my makeup and I found this burnt orange pigment from Barium that I got a couple of years ago and I really like I used to use it back in the day like a lot lot and then as the years have gone by I've just sort of not been like a fan of pigment back in the day when I first discovered makeup obviously I was so fascinated by eyeshadows I was fascinated by the eye looks that I came across YouTube and everything and over the years I have just sort of focused on similar looks which is more bridal and very neutral I sort of stayed away from playing with the colors as I used to do back in the day literally you know Facebook Facebook that place yeah Facebook has got this thing a reminder like um, it shows you the pictures that you posted like seven years ago like literally I need a moment there's some pictures that I see on there and I'm just like Anesu what were you doing like what were you thinking but you know what that was me discovering makeup and falling in love with this new thing that I'd obviously discovered and I'm telling you guys I used to love eyeshadow I used to play around with colors I used to try out different looks when I could and now I'm just like hey granny hey Lee. Ailey, 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 is it mommy, is it mommy, <laughs> and she lost. I actually had started doing my makeup then I realized, oh snap, so I ended up just doing a foundation and concealer tutorial. Hopefully you guys like the video, please don't forget to comment, like, and to subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Right, so I'd already done my eyeshadow and my eyebrows and I'm just using an LA Girl Orange Corrector before I apply my foundation. And to base my skin, I use the Rose Hip Oil because my skin is just doing its own thing right now. So I just needed something that just really moisturizes it before I went in with my foundation. Take my Fenty Beauty foundation. I'm gonna take my Glow Techniques buffing brush, spray it a little with my chocolate water. See what I like about this Glow Techniques brushing brush is I feel like it doesn't eat your product. It just literally leaves it on your skin. Now I'm gonna take my RCMA foundation and concealer palette. As you can see, obviously that's the most used, almost gone. I'm just gonna play around with the lighter shade. Right now it looks crazy, but I love this RCMA concealer plus foundation palette because the product a little goes a long way I always take it a little bit too extra but a little goes a long way trust me 
I'm sitting here thinking about watching the house and they have not. I think I'm too exhausted and I'm really tired. Taking a damp beauty blender. I'm just going to blend all that concealer. contour I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills medium kit and I'm taking ash brown I think I'm using my multi contour brush Taking the other side of my beauty blender and just in the middle of that. I'm just using my Laura Mercier translucent powder to set my under eyes. I'll take my MAC Studio 6 powder. I'm going to use that to just dust that off and set the other areas of my face. To contour, I'm taking this deep shade for my Benai palette. I am taking my Zarin eyeliner in black velvet. I'm going back into my Modern Renaissance palette. I'm taking this shade and I'm placing it right under my. Burnt orange, same brush. And now I'm doing my mascara and I'm using my Revlon Dramatic Definition Mascara. So I went ahead and finished the rest of the look off camera. I did my lashes and I did finished my under eye but so now I'm going in with my highlight and obviously it has to be the Fenty Beauty trophy wipes today I'm today I'm not going on crazy like I did yesterday
before my lips, I'm taking Colourpop Limbo. I'm just using a Wet n Wild liner. an extra tip that I learned which is to take a old mascara and set your brows with that and that just helps intensify the dust if you are going for that intense look now I'm just taking my Urban Decay All Night Spray and setting the rest of my face What happens when you film with your child and you stop and you start and you stop and you stop? I wanted to show you guys how I wanted to show you guys how I curl my hair. Everybody's always asking me, Anissa, how do you curl your hair? And Haley got me confused. So I ended up doing my hair off camera because my battery ran out. Then when I finished out charging it, like like mummies, you know what I'm talking about. Like you just like you just lose your whole plot 